What's up guys, it's PepsiDude32 here now. Uh, I know this is a very different kind of video than what I usually do. This is kind of out of my league, but today we are here to talk about cables. Look at all these cables, guys. This is great and totally not hoarding. But um, yeah, today we're gonna be talking about all the different wiring methods you can use to get a good signal out of your Nintendo Wii. Um, so we have four cables here today. We're gonna put them all together in an arena style battle. And they're gonna battle it out and see which cable is the best. Uh, this will be the very first Pepsi G32 video in 4K 60 FPS. This is composite. Yeah, almost a component. Yeah, but this is a composite cable that came with every single Nintendo Wii system. And this is the one that I got when I first got my Wii back uh, when I was a young lad. Years later, I switched over to a third party component cable. These cost about like 10 bucks on eBay. I got mine at a seal for six bucks. But yeah, this is what I used mostly for a long while until one day at the flea market, I found a copy of the Rocketfish component cables, which are not made by Nintendo, but they are officially licensed by Nintendo. They have the Wii branding over here and the Wii name plastered all over the cables. And down over here, it's a really nice quality cable. It's braided, it's, it's quality, you know, it's gold plated. Uh, this is a really good cable and this can still be found for relatively cheap, anywhere from 10 to 15 bucks. But then, today at the flea market, I finally, after like 10 years since I first got my Wii, I finally got an original, authentic OEM Wii component cable. The one that Nintendo made. Oh, it's the wrong one. Huh. Uh, the official one that Nintendo made, which looks like the composite cable. It's colored gray, which matches greatly with the Wii's aesthetic and all the other uh, cabling that the Wii has. And, uh, yeah, it's not braided like the other one, but it is the official Nintendo cable. This cable is worth $30 compared to the other ones, which are worth less than $20. This one is worth $30 only because of the Nintendo branding. And I'm really sitting here wondering if it's really worth the extra money. Is this cable worth Thirty bucks. So instead of just me immediately selling it on eBay to get the cash, I decided since I have all the cables lined up here, I have to do a battle. Um, now I just say that I'm very, very sorry because I do not have a DI box to get a signal from the component down to my PC. Uh, you know, a capture card got a DI box. I'm I've been getting into music production recently. Capture card, DI box, get them separated. They're not the same, but uh, yeah. Um, oh, capture card would be a cool last name for a DI box. Let's just call everything a capture card now. That would be fucking cool. But um, yeah, so it's just a video taken from my phone close up, so that kind of sucks. But this is just a fun little video. Uh, I'm not expecting much out of it, just to show you guys uh, what is what and which is which and uh, what you should better spend your money on. Now, in order to do the test, I'm going to be using The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker as the test subject for today. Um, I think this is probably one of the best games that I could possibly be testing. It's got great color saturation. Just it, everything just pops out at you from the background to the foreground. So I think this is a really good game to test. And on the subject of this, I am not going to be discussing uh, Wii to HDMI. I don't have any of those cables. And I've heard that the color saturation doesn't look as good as any of the component cables. So um, yeah, maybe some of the more expensive, like the $30 Wii to HDMI ones actually be pretty good. But I, in this case, I'd rather just have a component cable. But um, if you have the Wii to HDMIs, there's other videos out there for those. Um, so yeah, other than that, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so today I have all the cables here on the Test Shuffle Jacks video. Uh, starting with composite, then going to the third party component cable, then the Rocketfish cable, and then lastly the OEM cable. First, we're going to briefly talk about composite, but um, you know, you guys know that you should just kind of avoid composite. It's not that bad, it's not the worst until you compare it to the other uh, options. It's just, it looks blurry and it looks washed out. Uh, the foreground looks okay, but everything in the background looks really bad. It just looks blurry 
you know, and it's okay. You know, for, for how many years I use the, the composite cable, it's okay. It gets the job done. But uh, upon further inspection, it doesn't look nearly as good. Especially, it looks even better on camera than it did in person. And in person, it looked even worse. The, co the, wa uh, the colors looked all washed out. And they did not look nearly as good as they look in the actual video footage. They look just, I don't know, very dark and muddy. I did not like the look of the composite cable. Just avoid the composite. I'd say just avoid the composite because for eight bucks, you can get the third party component cable. And look at that. That is a major, major step up for only an $8 cable. And uh, for eight bucks, uh, I can't lie, this this doesn't look that bad. It looks nice and bright, and the digital image looks automatically so much better than the composite with just the side-by-side. -side. It looks really good. Uh, the background elements look great. Link looks great, you know. It all looks really good. Uh, until I got to this spot right here, um, and I noticed kind of a dip in quality. Link still looked really good. It looked really great, but the grass in the background looked kind of blurry and, and muddy. Like, I wouldn't say pixelated, but it looked blurry. It, it almost looked like the, uh, like the composite. Um, I don't know. It's just something, I think if I did more testing with it, I'd find that it didn't look as good, but it still is leagues better than the composite cable, but it's not perfect it looked a little blurry those those trees there but link still looked good everything else still looked good uh other than that one f you know little f neck um yeah the third party component did its job and it looked really good for the money then we have the rocket fish cable which in comparison to the uh the third party component um it looks really nice see the thing is with the co the other composite no the thing is with the third party component that I noticed is that it looked really bright and I yeah that was good but I feel like looking back on it compared to this this is what it should look like and the other component was just overly bright for the sake of being bright you know like when you turn up the contrast it gives the illusion that it looks better but it doesn't actually look better I feel like that is what happened here um it looks a bit darker, but it looks really good. Like, the other one was really, really bright, but in comparison, this one is smoothed out, and it looks really, really good. I really like the look of the Rocketfish cable. And, um, yeah, and the background and the foreground elements. See, like, with this one, I like it because, like, the foreground stays in the foreground and the background stays in the background. It doesn't all, like, burst out at you. Um... Yeah, for 10 to 15 bucks you can get this cable for, uh, the Rocketfish cable looks really great. You know, the trees look better. Even Link looks better than the third-party cable. Um, Rocketfish cable looks good. I'd recommend the Rocketfish cable. But then we have the OEM component, and it almost looks like the third-party one. It almost looks like kind of really, really bright, just like the third-party one. Um... Yeah, it looks like the third party one. It looks like it's trying to be overly bright for the sake of being bright. It doesn't look bad, but in comparison to the Rocketfish cable, the Rocketfish cable looked really nice and smoothed out. This one, in comparison, looks kind of bright for the sake of being bright. I will say, though, the trees, I mean the grass, out of all of them, the grass looked the best uh, on this one and the Rocketfish. But the grass stood out and it looked good. But this is what I was talking about, you know? Like in this one, I'd say in like Rocketfish, the the foreground was really bright, but the background would say kind of darker. This one, the background is like really, really bright and same with the foreground. They're really, really bright and they shine at you. Um, some people might like that, but until we do the full comparison between all of them, currently what I'm looking at is that... Um, it all just kind of comes down to personal preference, whether you prefer the more brighter looks of the OEM cable or the more sharper, uh, kind of smoothed out look of the Rocketfish cable. Because it doesn't look more colorful or darker, it just looks sharper. It looks sharper to my eyes. Honestly, I think I actually prefer the Rocketfish cable. I think that one's actually uh, the winner here until I do the, the tests. But what it looks like is the Rocketfish cable is the one to go, and if, if you prefer the more brighter looks of the the official Wii cable, it looks no different than the third-party 
component cable, and you should just get the third party one in that case. But yeah, now nah, let's do the side by side comparison. <laughs> So that was the shootout. Now, of course, I'd say that you guys should form your own opinions first. Of course, um, what I think looks the best might not be what you think looks the best. But um, yeah, I was really, really surprised. The it wasn't entirely one-sided. The whole uh, the whole battle. Of course, we can all agree that composite looked the worst. It looked muddy and blurry. Uh, it's okay, but you can just do much better. Any of these cables will be much better than the composite, so just don't don't worry about composite. Um, I thought the third-party component wasn't going to be very good, but this one actually held up very well. Now, uh, to some people, everything might have just looked the same, but for me, I replayed the videos again and again, and this is uh, what I came up with. When it came to the darks, the saturated... Uh, the darker elements in the in the temple, I found that the Rocketfish cable and the third party cable looked better than the first party one. Uh, the Rocketfish cable looked a teeny like this much better than the third party one, but it's practically the same. But just for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna say the Rocketfish cable. Um, the Rocketfish cable handled darks better. Uh, the darks just look brighter, whereas here the darkers, the darker elements look kind of muddier. It almost looked like the like the composite, you know, it looked uh, kind of muddy. I did not like how the uh, how the darker elements looked. But then you get to the, the ship outside with the grass, and this one knocks all the other cables out of the park. The brights look great, you know. The rocketfish and the third party cable, the greens on the third party cable and the rocketfish. They look not green, but kind of like like a dark green, you know. Whereas compared on the the OEM cable, this one looked like a bright green, like an actual proper bright green. While the other ones looked like a completely different color. This one it, it really changed the game. Um, so the brights did actually look better on the official cable. I'll admit it, the brights looked better, but the darks looked worse. They they objectively, to my eyes, looked worse than the Rocketfish cable. So because of that, um, it's gonna have to be a tie for me. If you think the brights look better, and you, you know, think that brights are more important than darks, then sure, go for the component cable. But if you think brights aren't as important, and if you play much more darker atmospheric games, I'm sure, if I had Resident Evil 4, if we test our Resident Evil 4, I'm sure this cable would have uh, knocked the ballpark. But, um, but yeah, this, uh, uh, this cable is pretty good. So it's gonna have to be a tie for me. Um, I don't know. I was originally just gonna sell this one, get the 30 bucks, but if I test it more and if I like it, I might actually end up staying with this cable. Um, but yeah, uh, of course you should form your own opinion. This is just my personal opinion. Have your own shootout, look at the video footage, and this should not, I didn't mean for this video to discredit anyone. If you like the third party cable, if you think that one looks the best, and if you love that cable, then, you know, that's a great cable. None of these component cables are bad, you know? If you like the Rocketfish cable the best, that's great for you. If you spent 30 bucks on this, uh, you did not get ripped off. I did not get he on here to laugh at you and say you got ripped off. No, it's a good cable. All of these are great cables, and no matter how much of a price you paid, uh, you got a good deal on them. So that's going to be everything for day, for today. Um, I got more vids coming up, podcast season three coming soon. The big video, uh, the studio trigger tier list. That's going to be a long ass, like 30 minute video. I'm working on that one. Uh, it's going to be great. Lots of great videos coming up. Uh, stay tuned, subscribe. If you want more like shootout, weird kind of videos like this, let me know. Um, yeah, that'll be it. See you guys later.